Hello everyone and welcome to this week's scripting quick tip tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to include a useful library of functions that you've compiled or made yourself so that you can basically include a separate JSX file to whatever new script you're working on and include useful functions that you've already written and don't want to have to rewrite or copy and paste and find in previous code. This is very similar to last week's quick tip, which you can check out right here, where I discussed how to include variables from other uh, JSX files. This tutorial is, is very similar, and instead we're going to be dealing with functions, which are a bit more useful to uh, have in separate files. Before we get started with this video, I do want to remind you down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly in the channel. And down in the description, you can follow us on GitHub for coding updates, as well as Instagram for other live updates. If you're not already a member of our Discord server, make sure you come and join to get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, submit tutorial ideas, hang out with useful members, and much more. And if you'd like to help support us on YouTube, you can become a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP. All the links for that are in the description down below, where you can get cool perks and help support us. You can also in the description check us out on AE Scripts, Adobe Exchange, and Gumroad to see some of the other work and products I've created. Alright, so if you haven't already seen the previous video, like I just mentioned, it goes over a very similar thing. We have this file full of useful stuff and we want to now include it so we can use it in our other JSX files. Let's start by creating a new JSX file and I'll just save this in the same folder and we'll go ahead and call this test.jsx. And as you can see, we now have our JSX file. Now to include this other file, we need to say hashtag include space and then in quotations, we will provide the path. In this case, currently, useful.jsx is in the same path as this uh, test JSX we're running. So if that's the case, it's in the same path, in the same folder, we just have to say useful.jsx. And to make sure this works, we can pick one of these functions. Let's say create dummy comp, and we'll say create dummy comp. And it looks like we need to provide a name. Is that the argument? Yes. We'll just say test, and we'll run this in After Effects. And as you can see, we now have a test comp created because we've now run this useful function from our other script. Now let's go ahead and say you have a subfolder called SRC and useful.jsx is in that folder. Maybe you have a separate folder to contain all your included library files and then your main JSX file is in the root. Uh, how do we then access this? Well, all we have to do, um, we normally in some cases would say slash SRC slash useful.jsx. But in this case, we actually need to omit the first slash and say SRC. We're going to say go into the SRC folder slash useful.jsx. So this should work equally the same. It's just now in a subfolder. And as you can see, once again, we have test. Let's go ahead and just make sure these other few functions worked. Uh, let's say get item named. We can just copy the names of one of these and see if we get valid value. Get item named. One cool thing, I'm not sure if it's because I have the JSX file open next to it or because I already just opened it, but we have autocomplete here. It knows the function named get item named. And then it tells me I need to provide a name to it, provide that specific name and run this. Uh, in this case, we need to alert this to see that we're getting something valid. So I'll go ahead and save this and run it. And as you can see, we get object footage item. We can also test get layer name, which assumes we have a layer our uh, composition open. We have a layer name test here. Let's say get layer named test. Let me run this. And as you can see, we now get an object AV layer. If you wanted to, you could go further and check the properties of that layer, which we then get the name test. So that is how you can include uh, useful JSX functions or JS, uh, JS functions from other libraries that you've created yourself or found and include them into your own main script. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button. Down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly in the channel. And down in the description, you can follow us on GitHub for coding updates, as well as Instagram for other live updates. If you're not already a member on our Discord server, make sure you click the link in the description to join us, where you can get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions. And if you'd like to help support us on YouTube and get cool perks, you can become a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP, which comes with, like I said, cool perks like Discord status, uh, polls, weekly live streams, and much more. And you can also in the description, check out the links to the AE scripts, Adobe Exchange, and Gumroad to check out some of the other products and things I've worked on. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.